until the last structure on the Budumburam camp is pulled down. As you can see, protests by occupants of structures yet to be demolished cannot prevent the exercise. Schools are often the first place people seek refuge in such situations. Budumburam Point Hope DA Business School is now offering shelter to the affected individuals. Imagine Ghanaians in this country. Can you give somebody 800 CD? You say stay and be integrated in Ghana. Now, if you are demolishing my parents, how do I go to school? How do I get prepared in the morning and come to school? It's not possible. So I think GS can find another alternative. And again, this place was built by us. See these structures. Is there GS structures here? We ourselves built it. So if there's any problem, the Kodewa was supposed to come. Following the UN's withdrawal of recognition of the area as a refugee camp, the 1951 Convention Cessation Clause led to some Liberians being repatriated and others integrated. The Roberts were part of the over 3,000 Liberian households who applied for the repatriation and integration package, receiving $400 in compensation and assistance with residence permits. Abigail Roberts, a 16-year-old final year junior high school student, has lived at the camp with her family for 23 years. I don't think I can go to school right now. If I go to school, my mind will not be at ease and I can't pay attention to what the teacher will be teaching. All my mind will be on what they are doing and where I will be sleeping and my safety. Her school teacher is deeply concerned about her current situation and that of other students. Around 12 people were outside, children were outside and even it has also affected schools. There are government schools who have been, which have been closed down. I think there are about four schools that have been closed down today because of this. But the Ghana Refugee Board is only willing to assist Liberian refugees who were exempted during the cessation clause implementation due to their unique circumstances. As you know, Budubram is not a refugee camp and has not been a refugee camp for a long time. Um, we have given the option for those who are still refugees, and that's only those who are still refugees, to be relocated to another place. We have two camps in the western region, and those are the, 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 the camps that we can resettle or relocate them to. Traditional leaders of Goma Fete justify the demolition. See, see what is happening here. This place, especially, this place on Quachet, is going on rapidly. They are killing people here, doing things which, in fact, it's not even hygienic to them. The, the, the Goma Fete is too like itself. So we are planning to cover. What we are doing here is for all of us. We are doing for all of the Ghanaians, not for only fetters to land. And we are not ready to sell this land. We are clearing this place and we give it to government himself and then develop this area. Another scope of the conversation is a relation between Ghana and Liberia, which some Liberians lament could be under threat. When you are a refugee, when your country becomes stable, you are all returned. Unless you are able to seek citizenship of the host country, if you have not sought that, the country has every right at any point in time to repatriate because it has uh, implications for the economy, for social setups and whatnot. Here, the Budumburan residents are refugees to start with. So they go under refugee laws internally and externally. So I don't think this one should bring Liberians against Ghanaians who are there. That would be criminal, an act. Here at Budumburan, there are persons documented as Liberians living in Ghana. And they are, you know, legal Liberian refugees. And they are also Ghanaians living here as quarters. Until that segregation is done, it will be very difficult to have an immediate human intervention. George Quinn, TV3 News, Budumburam.